Welcome to Jade Empire, Bioware's new martial arts action role-playing game to be published by Microsoft on Xbox. This is the demo we recently showed at E3. Jade Empire is set in a brand new Bioware-created fantasy world, inspired by Chinese and Asian myths and legends, martial arts movies and novels. We're going to show a range of real-time, fast-paced action combat, as well as dialogue and storyline. We'll start by showing character creation. There's seven basic character archetypes you can choose from. You can customize your primary abilities of body, mind and spirit, which lead to your secondary abilities of health, focus and chi. You can also customize your starting style in Jade Empire. And of course you can progress your character however you choose to play them, whether they be masters of martial arts, magic or weapons. We'll start the demo with Furious Ming. Furious Ming represents the quintessential light and fast martial artist. He may not be the strongest, but he attacks more quickly than most. The first area we're going to show you is the Scholar's Garden in the Imperial City. This is an area where nobles and philosophers engage in vigorous philosophic debate. You've been summoned here at this point in the storyline by your romantic interest, the princess, who wanted to talk to you. You're really strong. I bet you could wrestle that demon over there. Ahead of us, you see some of the followers you can attract to your cause in Jade Empire. This is Chai Ka, a demon who can teach you transformation styles. That's all you ever say. You make a great warrior, but a lousy conversationalist. And this is your romantic interest, the princess, the daughter of the emperor. The Lotus Assassins know you are here. They will not be easily turned away. Neither will I, for that matter. I trust you have a very good reason for missing our meeting last night. Jane Empire has a wide range of dialogue choices available to you. You can roleplay as a good or evil character. In this case, if you roleplay as a good character, you can continue the romance if you flirt. We're really trying to advance the art of the virtual actor in Jade Empire. All dialogue in the game is full voiceover with lip syncing, and characters have realistic facial expressions to make the interactions really immersive. You speak with a wisdom beyond your years. Of course, you do so many things with unusual skill. Your Highness, you must think of your station. You wouldn't see my twice-blessed wife and I carrying on like this in public. Master Ho, rumor tells of a time she chased you, in your underclothes no less, through this very garden, screaming unclean. Once, just once, I didn't wash the mixing bowl before going to bed. Now I have an entire city to remind me. How very fortunate. My father will be scandalized if he learns I spent time in the lower gardens. Be safe. This scholar's garden highlights some of the amazing attention to detail the artists have put into the lush graphics in Jade Empire. Ahead of us we see some philosophers engaged in vigorous philosophic debate. Still, sir, I must insist that the path of peace is the only way to a good life. Violence only begets more violence. This is why I find public discourse so consistently irritating. I have irrefutable proof that might makes right. Vigorous philosophical discussion always puts a spring in my step. Ahead of us we see some Lotus Assassins. An executioner who knows the warrior by sight is on his way. Stay vigilant. Death Xian wants this meddling fool caught or it will be you on the rack. Furious Ming will not elude us much longer. He was a fool to come here. Now, you might be wondering what all these magical floating stones are about. This lady here can tell us. Are these floating stones not wondrous? It is said that the Emperor himself brought them back from the Valley of Sprightly Stones when he was still a young prince. Jade Empire takes role-playing as a good or evil character to a whole new level. The story of Jade Empire is about power. As a powerful martial arts master, do you use your powers for good or for evil? In this case, you can choose the option, a waste of power. Such magic should be used to crush one's enemies. That is a dark philosophy, but I would not dare to argue with you. I have heard how you used your powers to destroy. Please forgive my presumption, young master. So as we've seen, the Lotus Assassins are searching for us. We're going to head out the back way and try and escape. But at this point in the storyline, your reputation precedes you, and you may be recognized by a variety of characters. Warm days to you, young master.
Turns out the Lotus Assassins are waiting for us. Hold! I recognize this scum. You are the one who stole the scrolls of the Seven Wisdoms from our monastery. The Black Leopard School? They were fools, too afraid to unlock the mysteries of those scrolls. No one may defy the Lotus Assassins and live. You do not stand alone, my friend. Now we're heading to the Bandit Swamps, which is an example of a truly beautiful, lush, organic environment. We immediately find ourselves confronted by a fearsome toad demon. Storm Dragon. So there's over 30 fighting styles in the game, ranging from martial arts to weapons to magic. Dire Flame. Jade Empire features a second generation Xbox optimized and exclusive graphics engine. The control scheme in Jade Empire is incredibly easy to use. Storm Dragon. All the animation in Jade Empire is fully motion captured, with the combat moves performed by martial arts masters. This shows an example of transformation styles in action. After we defeated the Toad Demon, now we've captured a new transformation style, Toad Demon style. Our artists are doing an amazing job at making the areas in this game look tremendously lush and gorgeous. The game runs at a very smooth, silky 30 frames per second. Jade Empire features a fusion of real-time action and storyline in a way that's never been attempted in an action RPG. You get to roleplay as a martial arts master. There's one enemy left to defeat here, it's an elephant demon. We use that new transformation style we captured against the elephant demon. Fighting head-to-head, -head, mano mano, giant creature against giant creature. Using double axes to kick some elephant butt. We'll try a variety of styles to try and finish off this elephant demon. Next, we'll change it to Dire Flame style, where we can use a Dragon Flame attack to set this enemy on fire. Now we change it to Iron Palm style. A little more effective. He's almost done. We'll try and finish him off with double axes. Back into Iron Palm and he's down. Down for the count. So the next area we're going to show you is in the Grandfather River region near your starting town of Two Rivers. The Lotus Assassins are attacking and you have to hold them off. All right, this is as far as I'm going. I'm a not a soldier. Your allies are fighting already. You better join them. I don't need any of these outlaws reaching me. All the dialogue in Jade Empire has full voiceover with lip syncing. Legendary fist. All the characters in the game have facial expressions and animations to really make them come alive. First thing you notice is the game is entirely in real time. You can jump around, evade, jump forward, backward, jump over the heads of your opponents. Of course, you can pause the game at any time if you want to issue orders to your character, change styles, change opponents. But the game can be played entirely in real time if you prefer. Oh. Legendary fist. We'll change into the new longsword style that we just gained. We can fight our opponents in that style. Changing styles is really easy. You just use the D-pad at the bottom left. At the top left, you can see your health bar, which is the red bar. The blue bar, which is your chi or magic energy. And at the top right is the focus mode, which allows you to slow down time for your opponents. Legendary fist. So we just charged up a chi strike and fired off a powerful finishing move in legendary fist style. 
Now we've changed to Paralyzing Palm and we've petrified this opponent, and we can smash him to bits. Long sword. You will be fun. Legendary Fist. These outlaws lack resolve. Look how easily they gave up their lives. Such a waste. You have even recovered Minister Sheng's weapon. Is it as impressive as he claimed it to be? In Jade Empire, you have meaningful choices to make in dialogue. You can choose good choices, neutral choices, or evil choices when dealing with NPCs. It's going to have a meaningful impact on how they interact with you. In this case, we choose the evil option, and it makes this character angry. The minister may dispute your claim when he arrives. He's bringing reinforcements in his marvelous dragonfly. I don't know why he thinks they are needed. These bandits pose no real threat. Never turn your back on a lotus wizard, kids. So this character is a lotus wizard. He has a powerful style named Dire Flame, which is cool. With that style, he can launch fireballs at you, set you on fire. We just enabled focus mode to slow down time for your opponents, but not yourself. If we equip Paralyzing Palm, we can petrify this opponent and dispatch him quickly. Legendary Fist. We finished off the last enemy in this area and we launched one of the cutscenes in Jade Empire. There are hundreds of cinematics in the game, ranging from pre-rendered cinematics to in-engine cinematics, and they all help to further the storyline of this epic RPG. This is your marvelous Dragonfly airship, and you can fly around in the world of Jade Empire in a minigame. It's really fun, we're going to show you that next. So next up we're going to show a sneak peek of one of Jade Empire's two minigames, which has never yet been shown to the public. This is a really cool minigame. It went over really well with the press at E3. It's based on and inspired by a lot of the top-down arcade shooters of yesteryear. So this is your Dragonfly airship. You can launch missiles at enemies, you can hit the ground targets with bombs. You can also pick up a range of power-ups. In this case, we picked up a power-up which increased the missile battery on our airship. There's also a shield on your Dragonfly airship with which you can ward off attacks. These enemies ahead of us are laying down mines, which you either have to avoid or shoot out of the sky. We've just picked up a power-up which gives us a rapid-fire missile attack. Of course, there's also nukes in the game with which we can finish off large groups of enemies quickly. Missile batteries on the ground need to be bombed, otherwise they'll blow your ship up. There's going to be a great number of levels in this minigame, leading to tremendous replayability. We're also thinking of enabling it from the start menu to allow players to play it between sessions of Jade Empire. These enemies are bombing your hometown, so you got to try and take them out. The final enemy in this area is a huge siege golem with double flamethrowers that make this area really tough. If we can just stay out of the way of those flames, we'll be able to take them out. There you have a taste of the Dragonfly minigame in Jade Empire. The next area we're going to go to is the Cannibal Caves, where you have to use the environment against your foes. This area shows off environmental interactivity. It's about time you got here. There are cannibals everywhere. They want to eat my face. My face! Maybe it gets mixed results from everyone else, but I happen to like it. We're really trying to advance the art of the virtual actor in Jade Empire. Of course, you have a range of choices which you can say to this NPC. In this case, he's on to your tricks. Don't lie to me. You just want to know how to fight the cannibal leader. 
mother, whatever it is. Well, I'm not telling you anything. There's nothing ahead. Let's just go back the way we came. Because you upset that character, now you have to persuade him to accompany you on the adventure. You have a range of choices to choose from. You can use charm, intimidation, or intuition. These are all based on your primary ability scores of body, mind, and spirit. I, I know. Too many people have been trapped here. Very well. You can't do much against that creature in there, not even with your skill. But there is another way. They are cannibals, not craftsmen. That cave is not stable. Try and destroy the pillars. Now, can you please get going? Time away from the wife is welcome, but only if it is less dangerous. So we just received a clue from our follower here that we have to use the environment against the creature in this area. You can still use magic, martial arts, or weapons against the enemy too. Storm Dragon. So on pause the game and target one of the pillars in the room and use the environment against this cannibal mother. Iron Paul. So it turns out if you knock down three of the pillars in this room, the roof will collapse on the head of the cannibal mother. But first we're going to show off some of the really cool fighting styles in this area. Storm Dragon. The style we're in right now is called Storm Dragon and unleashes a huge electrical blast on your enemies. Next up we're going to show Transformation Style. We've seen this earlier in the form of a Toad Demon and now we're going to see the style that Chai Ka, one of the followers you met in the Scholar's Guide, has taught you. Transformation styles are incredibly powerful, but they're very chi intensive. Next style we'll show is Crescent Blades. This is a weapon style. Easier to take out your foes, of course, if you change it to focus mode. So let's jump ahead in the action and take out that final pillar. Taking down this third pillar brings down the roof on the heads of our enemies. And with that, we see another beautiful in-engine cutscene. So the next area is a temple in the land of Howling Spirits, which is under serial waves of attack by a variety of enemies, including a powerful ogre and his minions, the Rat Demons. You have some new styles to show off in this area, including Dire Flame, which you can use at a high level. Storm Dragon. You'll notice small details in the game, like fog and wind, that really make the areas come alive. We have a beautiful physics-based cloth system both on characters and in the environment in Jade Empire. We'll start off in Dire Flame and turn on Flame Armor. This causes enemies to take damage when they attack you. The game is over 30 to 40 hours and there's tons of replayability. So we've just recovered a spirit world gem for our dragon amulet. This is the inventory system in Jade Empire, so let's equip that gem in our amulet. The spirit world gem gives you temporarily unlimited chi. Chi is magic energy, of course, this allows you to use your magic effects for longer durations. It also gives you a really cool effect around your character. There's many different kinds of gems in the game, ranging from gems that increase your primary abilities or secondary abilities, give you different attack damages, and so on. We're going to show you one of the most powerful moves in Dire Flame style, which allows you to summon in a dragon flame to barbecue your enemies. We'll jump ahead after we finish that first wave of attackers, only to learn that there's another wave on the way. These mindless hordes, they were just a diversion. You beat them all, but now he is coming. He brings a siege golem. It pushed through the gates like a child walks through reeds. What hope do we have? He is coming! Death's hand is coming! So thanks for joining us in the Jade Empire E3 demo. Jade Empire is coming out early in 2005, it's published by Microsoft, developed by Bioware, and it's Xbox exclusive. We'll see you in the Jade Empire.